So remember I had painted this um, earlier and now I've uh, made some corrections to it. So it shows you can really erase um, stuff when you make a mistake and go ahead and try to fix it because this girl looks a lot better now and the painting isn't ruined. But when I made, there were some things. So in the um, in, in the lesson, the picture that he does in Watercolor Secrets, it looks like the windmill only has three uh, fins. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, uh, fans. So uh, it must be that one of them was hidden somehow, but um, I thought it looked strange. And then one thing that James said when he looked at it, he's like, why does it only have three things? It should have four. And so I thought, okay, well, I was going to draw them in because it looked funny, and then I didn't. So I put this in with uh, white gouache because I'd already done the masking fluid and I'd painted. So um, that's the white gouache compared to um, the masking fluid, the white reserve from there. So that's what that looks like. That looks differently. And then so I did that in the reflection and that reflection. But as you can see, my reflection is not right. It's too far over this way. It should be around there. So, because see, see, it should be straight down. And so what I could have done is actually used a, a ruler and measured that so that it would have been correct. But you know what? I don't know that I care because I'm just trying to learn this stuff. So I'm going to talk about this painting a little bit. Um, this is the final lesson in buildings and structures that I'm still working through. And you can see um, that the I've added some people from the figures uh, disc. So this is from lesson two of the figures disc, or the people. And that's how they're done. It's just sometimes the bottom of it's like a a weird exclamation mark or something that turns into a person and he shows how to do that and uh, and it, I thought it was funny he had this explanation of um, proportions for humans and how to draw them and he had like this guy was tucked there was a woman and a man standing there but the man was tucked and so I thought oh, okay well I'll draw something different there but um, so that's that painting. And one thing, this guy, he really, the instructor for Watercolor Secrets, he does an awesome job. Because you can see my sky before didn't turn out very well, my tree, whatever. But the now the stuff that's I've filled the painting in around with looks a lot better. And this is just in a month's progress or something like that, right? I'd done this one earlier. This was from the rocks and hills or something like that disc so um but anyway my skies look way better now way better now my skies look great compared to well certainly my people they don't look that great but um they'll get better i'm just starting the uh figures from the um watercolor secrets disc so <sighs> I'm getting snow falling. I probably shouldn't talk too much about this. But anyway, I'll talk a little bit and hopefully my, my paintings won't get snow on them. So, now, uh, I did have to use some masking fluid. I tinted it blue into here for the reflection. Um, no, gouache, not masking fluid. Gouache for in here. And I also used it on the, the rail here. But honestly, I think there's a bit of a hill here in front of the windmill. So I think my reflection actually should have been up here more. I don't think that this should have even been in the reflection. But I don't know. I'm still learning. Now, um, in his, in the watercolor sequences, his uh, picture here, he has red, there's a red sign or something in the, or banner, I'm not sure, in this window. And he's painted these dark black here, pretty much. The 
uh, windows or doors down at the bottom and that kind of draws the eye in because he wants the building to be the focal point but I actually like this more but now I've done the gouache on the to make the waterfall there off of the in the fountain and I don't know how well I did that and so now I might actually have to correct some things so that I can make that the focal point because I don't know how happy I am with that but um, I erased I didn't want a building here I wanted some openness right so I just put some shrubs or trees in the background there instead and I couldn't tell when like my TV is very small and um, when I'm looking at the DVD that he's doing I couldn't tell what these were at all and I should have went to the end to try to figure it out first because that would have made the most sense but um, I didn't and so now I have to kind of deal with these so am I gonna like use the paintbrush and water to kind of chisel off something to make these into something because right now they're just gigantic dinosaur poops and I couldn't tell what this was so I made it into kind of person doing whatever and I couldn't tell what any of this stuff was but I could tell these were reclining people or sort of sitting people whatever so they, they it's abstract but you can see it but these I don't know what I'm gonna do with so I'm going to wait until I get to the figures disc, until I get through it actually, I think, until I can figure out what to do with that. So that I'm going to put away for a while. And what was I going to talk about with this one? I don't, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, oh, I made the, like his uh, picture like this, he used a yellow tinted paper mine was just the white paper again so um, I didn't yellow tint it um, I just decided my building should be kind of peachy color and went you know that's what I went with and then I went with a purplish kind of ground because I wanted to um, kind of to match the purple in the clouds a bit so that's what I decided to do there Oh, I wanted to say I did these reflections wrong. They should be straight down, so the head should actually be here. And it's not. And so I that's a bit of a whatever. And um, but one thing I wanted to say was don't be my back's a little sore. I've been busy. Um don't be when you're learning, make sure you push through. Like go through every lesson in order and make sure you push through and and say like when I first looked at this I was like oh there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that building that's so complicated and whatever and you know for a while now every lesson I've been like oh can I do this you know eventually your first attempts they might not be that great <laughs> you know? but you'll only become better if you if you push through so um, like James said something to me he was like oh don't don't do that you might wreck it uh, like I don't know what I was talking about with the painting uh, or which painting was I think it was this one and I don't know what it was but don't be afraid to wreck it it's just a alert this is just a lesson you have to you have to um, push through your fear in order to become good. Now I gotta get these paintings in before they get covered with snow.